And tonight for dinner, we're gonna have salmon with veggies, as well as we're having campfire apples, all made in foil packets. And here I'm gonna show you how. Welcome to our channel, The Montana Style, where we make camping fun. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And welcome back to part two of our series. Tonight we're gonna start it off with our salmon dish. Always get your foil out. You wanna make sure you have enough foil, either do the sheets or get your normal roll of foil out. Go ahead and spray it down. You wanna keep your fish as cold as possible. If you can keep it frozen next to your ice in the cooler, go ahead and do that. Cause you wanna make sure that it stays good and cold so it doesn't go bad. Go ahead and put your salmon down. And then we're gonna do whatever veggies you like. Tonight we're gonna to do onions, mushrooms. One of my favorites is zucchini. I like yellow and green, whatever you have. We'll go ahead and chop those up. You wanna make them as thin as you can so you make sure that they cook the same as your mushrooms and your onions. We'll go ahead and chop those up. Salmon's a real healthy night, if you really like that. All the veggies, we're just gonna do however much you like. The yellow is one of my favorites, as well as green. I like green ones from my garden the best in the summertime, but this time of year I just have to grab them at the store. And tonight we're gonna just put the green zucchini on, and then we're gonna get to our seasonings. You could use olive oil, and Italian seasoning or whatever, but we're gonna make it easy tonight and we're just gonna use dressing. We have Italian dressing, we bring it for our salads, so just go ahead and drizzle this all on. You wanna have enough so it makes sure it marinates all your veggies as well as the fish. Go ahead and do that. And then salt and pepper to taste, however much you like. We wanna get a lot of flavor on this because it is pretty bland if you don't have lots of seasonings on your fish. Then we're gonna go ahead and roll it up. Always bring it all into the middle and roll it up in the middle and then fold each end in. And there's your easy salmon dinner. And if your kids don't like salmon or your husband, you can always swap out the salmon for a chicken breast and it'll be just as good. So we'll go ahead and put that to the side. And actually we're gonna wrap it one more time so it makes sure that it doesn't leak any of the juices out. We wanna make it nice and moist when it comes out of the fire or the barbecue when you're done. Did you know that you can make dessert in foil? Well, tonight I'm gonna show you how to make campfire apples in foil. So first we're gonna start out with butter on our foil. We'll go ahead and butter it up. We buy this on Amazon, it's an apple slicer. It works great, go ahead and slice up your apples. However many kids you have, go ahead and slice up as many as you like. I like to go ahead and stack the apples in the foil. Wanna line them up across. Probably about a half an apple a person is pretty good. So you wanna go ahead and lay those out flat so that they cook evenly. Next, we're gonna take some brown sugar, about a tablespoon, and we'll go ahead and crumble that on top. This is a great one. The kids love it, super good. And then raisins, I like to buy these little snack size raisins. Go ahead and find them at the grocery store and go ahead and throw those on. If you don't like raisins, you can do craisins or just leave them out. What do you like? Are you a fruit person? Do you prefer apples or oranges? Apples are one of my favorites. I like them raw as well as cooked. I like to grill them like this all the time. Now we're gonna add nuts. These are also, if you don't care for nuts, don't have to add them. Just wanna go ahead and give a little more crunch. Apples are so good. You go ahead and put them on the grill or in your fire in the coals. They're all really yummy. Then we also wanna do a little bit of cinnamon sugar. I always have mine pre-mixed, so we just go ahead and give it a lot of flavor. Go ahead and put quite a bit on. Then last, we're gonna put some butter. So you just wanna put a tablespoon or two on, just so that it gives a little more flavor. We'll go ahead and dab some on across. This is a good one. I like to bring fruit when we come camping, and this is a good way to use it up at the end of the week if you kids haven't snacked it away. And that's it. We just go ahead and wrap these up and get them ready for our foil. We go ahead and wrap them up with the foil. Middle first, and then each end, and then they're all ready to cook. Now we're ready to put these in the fire. You wanna go ahead and cook your foil packets for about 30 minutes if your coals are good and warm. You wanna make sure they're cooked through. Make sure and check them. Make sure you can use your thermometer. We'll have one link below for your fish. You wanna make sure that it's to the doneness that it needs to be. And then just go ahead and cook your apples to the tenderness that you like. Go ahead and check out a couple of our other videos. We have a nice salad recipes as well as another foil packet dinner down below. If you go ahead and Hit the subscribe button and see you next time.